Hi there, this is Fred, FR5ED, the five is silent, here with a beer review. Today, uh, well, what I did last night after uh, having a wonderful evening at uh, Red Light, Red Light, um, if you ever get in the Orlando area, you've got to go to Red Light, Red Light. It is a hole in the wall, but if you'll check online, it's one of the highest rated beer bars or beer pubs uh, in the country. Um, it's just, it's, it's a delight. And there's great food usually there as well, outside in one of the... Uh, food trucks. Anyway, uh, I left from there because one mile away is Total Wine. It was a chance to pick up a few more singles. I like to do that. Just take an empty six pack and go around and pick up beers that I've not had yet so I can review them here. Anyway, so this one is Old Thumper. Now this happens to be brewed by Shipyard uh, Brewing Company up in Maine, even though it says Ringwood Brewery on the label. Uh, I'm not sure how that transpired. Uh, this did originate in England, if I'm not mistaken. I think Ringwood is there. But anyway, this is actually brewed here in the U.S. in Maine by uh, Shipyard Brewing. It's 5.6% ABV. I'm um, not sure about the IBUs, but typically for an ESB, an extra special bitter uh, or extra special ale, I think this gets called sometimes as well. But it, I think it does fall in the ESB category, extra special bitter. That's an English style of beer, typically served uh, from the cask, low carbonation, uh, warmer temperature, and uh, which I just love. I had uh, old engine oil on uh, cask at Red Light Red Light last night. It was wonderful. Let me get my bottle opener out here. Uh, anyway, let's give this a try and see how this uh, how this tastes. It's obviously going to be different from all the IPAs I've been drinking, and it's also uh, it's going to. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, that's pouring nicely, nicely. Let me get that up there where you can see it. Yeah, it's going to be lower IBUs than uh, I'm accustomed to with uh, with uh, IPAs, but I'm not judging an IPA right now. Boy, that's very nice and carbonated. That's the thing is uh, in England it's going to be lower carbonated. This is going to be Americanized. But uh, anyway, let me get that up there where you can see it. Lots of nice carbonation coming up. You can see the activity coming up from the bottom very uh, like a, it was a three finger head on there very dense slightly off white it's a clear beer it's a amber color kind of a dark honey a medium orange amber color and let's give a uh, let's give a smell you can smell the hops you, you can actually smell the hops but it's not bursting out of there you need a little bit of the orange the citrusy smell nice clean clean aroma, slight malt, but uh, it's very kind of a muted aroma, nothing bursting out of there. But pleasant. Let me give it a taste. Very mellow, uh, bready, biscuity, malty taste. Uh, the hops are there. There is some bitterness. Um, so there is a balance there. It's not your IPA that's going to you know, jump out and scream hops, but there's a bitter aftertaste. So it is in a style called Extra Special Bitters. And uh, obviously this has more bitterness to it than a lot of the English ales would have. Uh, you know, stouts, porters, things like that. Quite drinkable. You know, if you need a break from, from all the hops and the IPAs, but you don't want to abandon your hops... This might be a nice, uh, or a nice, pleasant experience. So, on a scale of five, I would probably. And it's hard to do this because I've stepped outside my usual comparative judgment of IPAs, where I'm judging one IPA against another in my own, you know, my own taste. This is a different category. So, this five-star scale is not based on any real experience with the ESBs. Um, but it is based on my likings, and it's it's got enough similarities to an IPA that I, I'd be in danger of judging it against other IPAs because it wouldn't measure up when you're looking for all those you know hop aromas and tastes and, and bitterness. Um, but I'd still give this three and a half, uh, just uh, just on its own as a beer that I would get again. I wouldn't uh, seek it out, but if I saw it and remembered that I gave it a three and a half, you know, I'd get it again. So anyway, give it a try. This is Old Thumper. Uh, says from Ringwood Brewery, but it's actually brewed by Shipyard up in Maine. Here you go. That's it. This is Fred, FR5ED, over now.